In my previous video where I moved everything on my Samsung S8 to my new Samsung S24 Ultra, I promise you that I'm going to do a new video where I will manually move uh, WhatsApp from this phone to this phone because the smart switch uh, wasn't able to move my WhatsApp from this phone to this one. So I'm going to do that manually and there are two methods to it. I'm going to use online uh, where you'll be using Google Drive view, and then the second one will be how to manually move all your WhatsApp everything from this phone to this phone if you're ready come with me <laughs> let's go get it started okay welcome back again to smart deport i'm so excited to have you here if you're new uh why not click on that subscribe button to to get videos like this when we do it if you're planning to move your whatsapp from android to iphone uh that is a different ball game there is this uh apple's uh, application that is called move to ios it can fail over and over so um you might be lucky if you try it but you have to wipe everything up and at the first setup then you move your whatsapp it's a little bit tricky i did a video uh, i recorded a video uh, of a paid app that can do that i'll show you a little clip into it towards the end and uh, make sure you watch towards the end if that is what you want i will soon publish that video so that's another reason to click on that subscribe button turn on notification bell icon but if you're android to android movement of whatsapp then let's go in we're starting with method one using whatsapp business and we're going to use this uh, service of backing up to Google Drive uh, that WhatsApp is giving. This service will go off by <laughs> June 2024, depending on when you're watching the video. So you go to your WhatsApp uh, business settings and chat. The same thing is similar on WhatsApp. So, and then you're going to go to chat backups and you're going to back up so that you can get the latest backup. So don't use an older backup, just do the backup immediately you want to transfer. Uh, so this service is not going to be available again around uh, June 2025 uh, or it will stop being free. <laughs> so that's just that. So once you're done with the backup, you now go to the new phone that you are going to transfer your WhatsApp or WhatsApp business to. Uh, why I'm leaving the other phone on is that the SIM card is not in either of these phones. So uh, if the WhatsApp is on, you get verification code on the app. So yeah, that is the verification code on the app and um, you uh, get a pop-up on the app and also a SIM card uh, message SMS will be sent. Once you put in the code, you'll be logged out from the old device and that is it. So make sure you don't give somebody this code because anybody can log you out. Your number is not at a secret. So now it's seen already uh, our uh, this thing because you have to sign in the same account on the phone. So this is where many people miss it. The same account, our Smart Depot official Gmail account is signed in both on the phone, on the left and on the right. And that's why he's able to see it and like that you just go in there uh, you can create a passcode uh, but I, I i want to skip that and once it comes in uh, the wi-fi will start restoring media on the background uh on the phone on the right and then if you go out of this place again you won't be able to log into whatsapp on the old phone so uh this is as simple as it gets when it comes to moving your whatsapp from one phone to the other but sometimes if you have a bigger uh, size of whatsapp and all that it could be difficult i'm going to do it manually uh, and i want to use this opportunity to show everyone out there if you want to move your whatsapp from another phone to another phone uh you don't have any problem just watch this video the method two is for those who want to move a uh, heavier whatsapp from one phone to the other and don't have good internet access or any other thing like that you can use this method it's as simple as easy as anything so first of all you have to know which folder where the whatsapp is in this older phone android 11 and below you will see whatsapp in the internal storage you can see both the whatsapp and whatsapp business folders are on the internal storage but if you're using the phone that has android 12 and bigger it won't be like that i will explain first of all we're going to delete all the old backups because we want to deal with the fresh backup so i'm going to go in there uh, in the uh, databases i'm going to delete all the old backup uh, the database folder is where the backups are stored so once I've deleted that, I'm going to go into the settings and then I'm going to go to chats and I'm going to do a manual backup, chat backup, and then I'm going to back up uh, the files. So one thing I want you to understand here is that I don't need the backup to go to the cloud because I don't need to use anything on the internet. On the right hand side, you will see that the place where the WhatsApp folder is, is on Android Media 
com.whatsapp and then you now see whatsapp folder so that's where it is on the right it's not the same location on the left this is important when you want to copy it now it's trying to back up to google cloud i'm going to stop it from backing up to google cloud the way it works is that it will make a local store backup first and then copy it to the cloud so i'm going to take that off i've made my backup i'm going to go to that internal storage to whatsapp folder go to databases now you see i have only one backup the latest one and that is what you have to make sure you have uh, before you copy the whole whatsapp folder to another phone so i'm going to use uh, a, any uh, file share you can use any file sharing you can use cable you can use computer just copy the whole whatsapp folder after you have done the backup now it's important after you have done the backup so I'm going to go into files, go into internal storage, and I'm going to go to WhatsApp, and I'm going to copy the whole folder using uh, Share It. Uh, Share It has uh, ultra speed mode, so it's going to be a lot faster than Zender if I'm to use Zender or use cable to copy it. There are tiny, tiny files that makes it take a whole lot of time uh, before it copies. Yeah, has about 20 minutes to copy it. So I'm going to go into a Share It folder on my newer S24 Ultra, and then it will be inside files if you go inside uh share it you see it inside files so that's where it will be so this is the whole folder that i copied from the old s8 uh, to the s24 ultra so i'm going to open up uh android i'm going to go to media i'm going to go com.whatsapp folder and then i'm going to open the whatsapp folder itself so what i'm going to do here is to delete everything in this one because i'm not going to need it so once I delete it, I will now go and get the other ones. Normally, I like to use move because copy takes a long time. So I use move and then I move the whole files uh, to the other part of the folder. So uh, that's the way it works. So once I've moved it now, I'm going to go back to uh, the WhatsApp application and then I'm going to try to, you know, act activate here by putting in my number and i'm going to request that it's verify so the app is still on as it was in the whatsapp business the verification code will come to the app immediately and i can copy it from the app itself without looking for sms or the number and then i can now move it into the other phone now this is very important make sure you give it permission for your storage if you don't it won't be able to search the internal storage now as you can see seeing the internal storage a file that we backed up 24 minutes ago and uh, i'm gonna say okay restore it and that way it's going to restore just like the way it could have done from the cloud but now it's doing it straight from inside the phone so uh isn't that simple if i've known this style if i've known this method a long time ago like let's say 2021 uh, sorry 2012 or 2011 when i started using whatsapp i will not have lost a lot of my whatsapp history so i'm not going to do passcode uh i'm going to skip it and now you see that all my whatsapp have moved from the s8 to the s24 ultra just like i promised you and it's it's that easy it's that simple of course if you have any challenge or issue you want to do this i'll be in the comment section to answer your question so make sure uh so the final confirmation on the s8 the whatsapp business is there there is nothing on the whatsapp business now let's check the whatsapp itself and see there is nothing on the whatsapp again but then it's all in the s8 so that's it <laughs> whatsapp have been moved and i hope you enjoyed this video if you like video, you want to click on that subscribe button turn notification bell icon and i put the playlist for all the whatsapp i've done and i will soon upload uh, the what's go uh, video where you can move from ios to android android to ios uh, this app does it effectively and i've tested it and it works make sure you like share so that this video can get to other people and until i see you in the next one it is peace